it's it's not gonna fit no matter what i bought this skimboard from a yard sale for five dollars uh, it sold for a little under 200 and now we are going to ship it the buyer has a p.o box so we cannot ship it fedex we're going to be shipping it usps parcel select from florida to california and i'm going to show you guys how to do it bubble wrap just to give it a little little bit of a cushion so bubbles facing down and I'm literally just going to do two lengths of the board. So that's about right there. And then I'm going to have to cut it. Uh, now I'm going to wrap a couple bands of tape around it to secure it in place. Here we are with one layer of bubble wrap and it just taped around just like that. Now that I have one layer of bubble wrap on it, I'm going to take other sections and fold it into halves or into quarters to create a thick bubble wrap and I'm going to place that around the outer of the board and I'll show you guys once I have built it out a little bit. So I am putting a little bit of cardboard to protect the uh, nose and the tail points. Luckily this thing doesn't have a fin so it's a pretty simple protection build and I'm about halfway done with the edges and I will uh, come back in a second. That's what she looks like. So ideally you would want a box that's this size. That's probably not going to happen either. This is when we think outside of the box. Check it out. Bam! You get a bag. A thick bag. This is a California Department of Transportation bag. I bought these at a Goodwill years ago, and I've been using them sparingly for luggage and for boards, and it's just awesome. So this bad boy should be able to fit in here. And I turn it inside out. So the graphics on that side, now it's on that side was in the bag we don't have enough bag so check this out we we grab another part of another bag and that goes on top and then we're going to tape everything together nice and tight more or less that is the finished product you could use any really thick sort of a poly bag or a trash bag for this project all of the corners are protected the top is padded it's not a particularly fragile product, so unless they like really run over this with a car or something, it's gonna be fine. This was easy because it didn't have a fin. If it had a fin that was removable, obviously I would remove the fin. If it's not, if it doesn't have a removable fin, it's even more difficult. You have to build a weird box around it. My mom had to do that while I was in Texas. She shipped out a scurf board, which I really wish I would have had the footage on that because that thing had to look crazy that is the uh, ebay skimboarding probably not best practices because if you can get it to fit in a box that's the best thing to do with perfect padded padding and everything pretty much the same thing i like to do for tennis rackets a lot of times you can get tennis rackets under 16 ounces but this bad boy is going to california so the dimensions on this bad boy is 44 just about 45 by 20 and then about two inches tall a protected nose of six pounds and 11 ounces You gotta just have to balance it because it's not going to obviously stay So you kind of just balance it and get an estimation This is gonna go by the rounded to the next pound anyways. We pop it into six pounds 12 ounces 45 by 20 by 2 parcel select because we sadly cannot do FedEx to a P.O. box. And shipping is going to be $38.99. And we're printing out the label on the ZP450 Zebra printer. And just like that, good to go. Took me about 15 minutes to put it all together. Not that difficult. All right, so that's it. Package is good to go. All right, so finishing the video off with taking it to the post office. I'm right at the post office right here. There's the board. This isn't the only way to ship this. If I wasn't clear on that, there are multiple ways to ship it, but it's definitely easy. It's basically like a big poly bag. And there is an argument that if it's bagged and it's shaped like what it is, they are going to treat it with a little bit more care than if it was just in a box. They might stack something on top of it and then like crushing the board or something. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off. I'll have a little conversation with the employee and see what they say. Cause I had some people on Instagram saying that I can't do this. So. And they took it, no problem. I even asked her if it was an issue. She said, no, it's not too big. Um, obviously a long surfboard would probably be something different but this is under the right dimensions and it didn't even ship that much under 40 bucks from Florida to California. 
that's a deal. Thanks everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any encouraging comments or want to connect with me, the best place is in the comment section or on Instagram. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.